Hello and welcome to Model Dads. We continue our Moderns Review Week by taking a look at the first of two of the most recent 1100th Hot War kits kindly provided for review by Svesta. The M2A2 Bradley is a 15 piece snap fit 1100 scale kit measuring 6.5cm in length, 3.1cm in width and costing around £6.50. Upon opening you'll see that the two sprues are accompanied by a Hot War unit card, a black numerical decal sheet and a double sided assembly guide. The A sprue contains the tracks and running gear, whilst the second B sprue the hull and turret. Svesta's M2A2 Bradley is a significantly better kit than the earlier Abrams. There's no flash or mould lines and no blemishes on visible surfaces. Starting with a two-piece turret, the Bradley's fully stabilised M242 Bushmaster chain gun and the M240 7.62 coaxial machine gun is clearly represented along with the commander's integrated sight unit and twin tube Tau-2 anti-tank missile system mounted on the left side of the turret. Pleasingly, the smoke grenade dispensers and rear turret stowage rack are modelled on the lower turret section. The M2A2's applique steel armour is accurately rendered, but unfortunately the armoured headlight covers are moulded flat. The rear is nicely sculpted with exit ramps, stowage boxes and towing cable all nicely tooled. The clean up and four step build is simple enough and took me a careful 25 minutes. Parts separate from the sprue neatly and no glue is genuinely required. Most parts slot together very well, but you'll still want to glue if you want to avoid any unsightly gaps between pieces. The instructions are very clear, but as of the 1st of October, the build is not supported by the YouTube video guide we saw for the Abrams and T72. The only problem I had was fitting the rear, which wanted to be a little skew with. Be careful working around the turret to avoid breaking the fragile chain gun and aerial mounts. Once assembled, the finished kit looks very good and is not too light. In terms of relative dimensions, Vesta's Bradley, without its armoured tiles, is spot on for length, width and height at this scale. The decals are simple, numerous and welcome. Overall, I'm pleased to report that Svesda's 1100th Bradley is an excellent kit. Easy to assemble, dimensionally accurate with some good attention to detail, it provides the wargamer with an excellent platform for further customization if required. It's usually about now that I go on a rant about the price, and I still think that Svesda are charging a little too much for their hot war kits. But, with some retailers offering deals, and notably Plastic Soldier Company's 3 for £16 plus postage and packing, it's hard not to say that, at this price, Svesda's Bradley starts to offer the competition a real run for their money. Recommended.